Okay, um, in this video, we want to introduce a uh, integration technique that comes in very handy when trying to integrate different types of rational trig functions of the form where we have the sine squared of x plus the cosine squared of that same angle uh, multiplied by respective coefficients plus a constant. And the technique is whatever this variable happens to be here that we're going to take the sine over the cosine of, the variable this is, we introduce a new variable by saying let z equal the tangent of x. And then at this point we draw a triangle like we've done many times before and here's the angle x. Now in terms of the new variable the tangent of x equals z divided by 1. The tangent of x equals the side opposite, z, divided by the side adjacent, 1. So this is the hypotenuse, is z squared plus 1. So the cosine of x, that's the side adjacent, divided by the hypotenuse. We have that written right here. And the uh, sine of x, that's the side opposite, divided by the hypotenuse. So the sine of x is expressed in terms of our new variable z. And what about dx? How do we get that? Well, let's go to our original substitution. z equals the tangent of x. So dz will equal the secant squared of x dx. And I want to get an expression for dx so I can um, multiply both sides of the equation by the cosine squared of x. And I'll have dx will equal the cosine squared x times dz. But the cosine of x is 1 over this. So the cosine squared for this is going to be dz divided by this without the square root sign. So dx is just dz divided by z squared plus 1. So again, when we make this substitution here, Let z equal, be equal to the tangent of x. And the cosine of x, that's expressed in terms of z. The sine of x, that's expressed in terms of the variable z. And dx, that's now expressed in terms of the variable z. And we don't have much to say about it beyond that, except that the best way to get a feel for it is just to work some examples. So let's see, suppose we had this one. Um, the integral of dx divided by 3 plus the cosine squared of x. Now, does that fit the recipe? Um, here, b is just 1, c is just 3, a is 0. There's no problem with that. And let's look with this denominator here. Cosine squared x is going to be 1 over z squared plus 1. So we have 1 over z squared plus 1 plus 3. And this will equal 3z squared plus 1 plus 1. So that will be 3 times z squared plus 3 plus 1 is 4 divided by z squared plus 1. So let's rewrite this integral. Now remember this is in the denominator of the integral. So we're going to have the reciprocal of this, we'll have z squared 
plus 1 divided by 4 plus 3z squared. And dx is this. So I'm going to have dz divided by z squared plus 1. And let's make some room. Looks like these are going to cancel. So this is going to equal dz. And I'm going to factor this 3 out of here, so I'm going to have 3 times 4 thirds plus z cubed. Factoring this 3 out. So let's see, we had this integral here. We make this substitution, and it now becomes this integral here, which we have to solve. And look what we have here. It's going to be, a, we have a constant plus a variable squared. Uh, looks like this is setting us up for a trig substitution. And hopefully, this expression reminds you of this identity from reviewing our uh, videos on trig substitutions. The secant squared of theta equals 1 plus the tangent squared of theta. A constant plus a variable squared. A constant plus a variable squared. With the same general type of formula. So now we say, we take our variable z, not z squared, but z, and we say let z equal the tangent of theta. Actually, we're going to say the tangent of theta times the square root of this number here. 2 divided by the square root of 3. And let's just take your dz real quick. dz will equal 2 divided by the square root of 3 times the secant squared theta to theta. So we started with this integral, and now we made this substitution and now we've just made another substitution, so we'll have to keep track of these. And let's rewrite this one. This will equal dz is this, 2 divided by the square root of 3. We'll have the integral secant squared theta d theta. This is the dz part here, divided by 3 times 4 thirds plus z squared, 4 thirds tangent squared theta. And here, of course, we see why we chose this coefficient here to be the square root of this number so that when I substitute z back in I'm going to have this number appears across here so we can factor that out so this is going to be equal to two over square root of three integral secant squared theta d theta divided by, and we'll factor the four thirds out, three times four thirds one plus the tangent squared of theta.
and 1 plus the tangent squared of theta is the secant squared of theta. So these cancel. These threes cancel. So this is going to be equal to 2 divided by 4 times the square root of 3. 2, 4 times the square root of 3, just the integral of d theta. And this will equal 1 over 2 times the square root of 3 times theta. Now, as where we backtrack to solve the integral involved, theta. We have to go back to this substitution. The tangent of theta equals square root of 3 over 2 times z. That's from here. But let us remember what z is. z is this. So we go back to here and say this equals the square root of 3 over 2 times the tangent of x. So the tangent of theta equals the square root of 3 over 2 times the tangent of x. Theta will equal the inverse tangent of the square root of 3 over 2 times the tangent of x. And so replace this. And we've got 1 over 2 to the square root of 3 times inverse tangent of the square root of 3 over 2 times the tangent of x. And that, this is the solution to this integral here. So, Really, it's a very handy technique. Um, to get used to it, you just had to work through several examples. So come back and join us for some more videos, and we can, we'll see if we can solve some more problems using this substitution technique here.